from Hollywood, the Lawrence Welk Network presents The Lawrence Welk Show. <laughs> That's entertainment. The lights and those fabulous sights for a guy who gets hit with a pie. He's a ham to his millions of fans. That's entertainment. It might be a fight like you see on the screen. The stage is a world of entertainment. It might be a fight like you see on the screen. Wayne getting slain for the love of a queen. Some great Shakespearean scene where a ghost and a prince meet and everyone ends in mince meat. The gang may be waving the flag that began with the mystical hand hit hooray. The American way, the world is a stage, the stage is a world of and girls. Yes, my friends, entertainment is the theme of our show this evening. We're going to trace the history of musical entertainment in America from the early days right up to the present. Before the days of television, before radio, even before Broadway, there was music in the American home. Singing in the parlor has always been a part of American life. Our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer, takes us back to those early days. And this was how entertainment started. Some of our best-known American music was never written down. I'm speaking of the familiar folk songs which are still sung today. Here's Myron Florin playing a medley of these old favorites.
Those songs go back quite a few years. But here's one that goes back much further. They say it dates back to the 12th century. Let's call on our popular married couple, Guy and Rolna, for this old English folk song, Green Sleeves. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to catch. For I have loved you oh so long, delighting in your company. Green sleeves was all my joy. Green sleeves was my. Today, with television, radio, and records, we take music for granted. But there was a time when people depended on traveling musicians and medicine shows for their entertainment. Let's hear from our own strolling players, starting with Clay Hard. I gave my love a flower with no perfume. I gave my love some roses that weren't in bloom. I told my love a story without an end. I gave my love a boy child who is not crying. How can there be a flower? With no perfume How can there be roses That aren't in bloom How can there be a story Without an end How can there be a boy child Who is not crying Flower when it's blooming has no perfume, and roses when they're budding have yet to bloom. The story of our love, dear, will have no end, and our baby, when he's sleeping. Is not crying. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, my friends.
Why don't you all take a seat, please? It's my great pleasure to introduce our next performer here, and he is the foremost exponent of tap dancing in all the 38 states, and he's going to dance for you now to a brand new song called The Yellow Rose of Texas. Let's have a nice hand for Arthur Duncan. Arthur. <laughs> neighbors and next we have our romantic baritone <laughs> Dick Dale singing that catchy tune that's sweeping the country yeah. ho ho wait a minute you're gonna find this song easy to learn and Mr. Dale wants everybody to join in on the chorus how about that yeah. and now here he is Dick Dale hi yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not much of a crowd here, but we're going to go on anyway, aren't we? Yeah. You know, Arthur said this is an easy song, right? <laughs> I want you to sing, not the first one, but the second and the third one, right? <laughs> Just the second and the third one, right? And now, I'd like to introduce <laughs> my guitar. No, it's a banjo picker tonight. <laughs> He's a banjo picker. <laughs> Neil LeVang. Yeah. Neil, pick it out for us, all right? Go ahead. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a song, dwelt a miner of 49er and his daughter Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without tops as sandals were for Clementine. Everybody, oh, my darling. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Go she ducklings to the water every morning just at nine. Slipped her toe upon a splinter, fell into the foamy brine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry. One more time. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for helping me sing it. I'd like to thank my mother and father for giving me the music lesson, and my banjo player, and my real, and my manager, Sam Lutz, and my boss, Lawrence Welk, for giving me this spot on this show. And let's not forget our sponsors. And my apologies to Frank Fontaine. The days of the showboats played an important part in the history of American music. In this next segment of our show, we bring back those riverboat days, and let's start with Captain Jimmy Roberts. Where the 
cotton and the corn and taters grow. There's where the birds warble sweet in the springtime. There's where my heart's always longing for to go. There's where I labored so hard in the morning, day after day in the field of yellow corn. No place on earth do I love more sincerely than old Virginia, the place where I was born. trouble I've seen Nobody knows but Jesus Nobody knows the trouble
now we're getting to a period of our musical history I'm familiar with, the wonderful days of vaudeville. In fact, this next song was one of the first I ever played on the accordion. Here's our first act, Sandy and Sally and a friend. Baby face, you've got the cutest little baby face. There's not another who can take your place. Baby face, my poor heart is jumping. You sure have started something, baby face. I'm up in heaven when I'm in your fond embrace. I didn't need a shove, cause I just fell in love. Thank you, Sandy and Sally and Buddy. I predict that that act is going to go a long way. Just like my daddy told me when I was a little boy, he said, son, you're going to go a long way. And to make sure he nailed the box car door shut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we present that terrific technique, the supreme artistry, the fantastic fingerings of our peerless pianist, our king of the keyboard. He not only plays great piano, but he wrote this introduction, Robert Ralston. <laughs> gentlemen, I have to tell you something about this number. You know, the management <clears throat> came to me last night and said, Bob, Nola is running three minutes. You've got to cut it in half. Well, I didn't want to cut out half of this number. This is my favorite number. So you know what I'm going to do for you, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to play this number just twice as fast as I usually play it. Yeah. Instead of three minutes, I'm going to play it in exactly one minute and 30 seconds. And I would like to dedicate this to the management. Robert, you may have played that in half the time, but it certainly wasn't half bad. And now, no vaudeville show would be complete without an Irish tenor, and we have one of the most outstanding, in fact, he's outstanding in the wings right now, 
Just back from a triumphant tour of the continent where you appeared before the crowned heads of Europe, the pride of the Emerald Isle, Joe Feeney. <laughs> There's a tear in your eye, and I'm wondering why, for it never should be there at all. With such power in your smile, sure a stone you'd beguile, so there's never a teardrop should fall. With your sweet lilting laughter, like some very song, and your eyes twinkle bright as can be. You should laugh all the while and all other times smile. So now smile, a smile for me. When I reach eyes are smiling, church is like a morning spring. In the can hear those angels sing. The angels. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure Feeney and Florin. With that last note, I think we just uh, lost that one and a half minutes that we gained with Robert Ralston. However, for our closing act, we have a very special treat for you folks. Now, this next act stopped the show at the Palace in Quincy, Illinois, and at the Roxy in Portland, Indiana. Those two tigers of the marimba with an amazing display of virtuosity, Bob Havens and Jack Immel. Yes,
In the late 20s came the Toggies. One of the greatest names in show business was the first man to sing on the screen. Ken Dealer brings back memories of Al Jolson. Thank you, Lawrence, and you folks ain't heard nothing yet. Mammy, Mammy, the sun shines east, the sun shines west. I know where the sun shines best, Mammy. My little Mammy, my heartstrings are tangled around Alabama. I'm a coming. Sorry that I made you wait. I'm a coming. Hope and trust that I'm not late. Oh, oh, oh. Mammy, my little mammy, I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mammy. Mammy, mammy, I, I've come and I, I hope I didn't make you wait. Mammy, mammy, I'm coming. Oh, Lord, I, I hope I'm not late. Mammy, mammy, look at me. Don't you know me, why? I'm your little baby. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mammy. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mammy. Some of our greatest musical entertainment has come from the Broadway stage, and of course, we can't forget the great contribution made by the Dean of American Songwriters, Irving Berlin. Here's the band with a medley of Mr. Berlin's wonderful songs from the show, Annie, Get Your Gun.
thanks to Irvin Berlin for his many, many great songs over the years. In the 30s and 40s, most of us got our entertainment from radio. We heard great comedy shows, famous dance bands. And who can forget the wonderful music of Fred Waring and his Pennsylvanians? Well, we're just about up to date in our history of musical show business. Fiddler on the Roof is now the longest running musical on Broadway, and it has just been made into a wonderful movie. Here's Tanya to sing one of the songs from this great show. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look in your book and find me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groom, slender and pale. Bring me a ring, for I'm longing to be the envy of all I see. For pa as a king for me well I wouldn't holler if he were as handsome as anything oh, matchmaker matchmaker make me a match lend me a line catch me a catch day after day I will always want a match Folks, we almost forgot the silent movies. For many of us old-timers, the early silent movies were our first taste of show business. Bob Lead and the boys recall those days with Running Wild and Lots of Fun. Running wild, lost control. Running wild, mighty bold, feeling gay, reckless too, can't remind all the time, never blue, always going, don't know where, always showing, I don't care, don't need nobody, it's not worthwhile, all alone, running wild, yes sir, Jack. Thank you. 
control. Running wild, mighty bold, feeling gay, reckless too. Carefree mind all the time, never blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> running wild, running wild, running wild, running wild, running wild. Here we are in the television age. You recall how we opened the show in the living room, listening to the harpsichord. Well, here we are, back in the living room, listening to the harpsichord. record. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, show business has been very good to us, and so has the book business. I have just received a gold book, a copy of my autobiography, Wonderful, Wonderful. And I want to thank all you good people for making it a hit, and I'm most grateful to you folks. Now, until next week, take care of yourself and stay happy. Good night. Thank you.